my name is Miss Brooke and I'm an art educator at the Wiregrass Museum of Art and today we are going to create string art. Now typically you're going to create this with uh, wood and nails but today we're doing a project that uses cardboard and pens so that it's safe for all hands including little hands. So grab your supplies and let's get creating. talked about wrapping basically a border around before you get started, which I actually think is a really great idea because it's going to help you ensure that you stick to your design. Because once you get wrapping, it's really easy to kind of go across areas like this and then your outline kind of loses integrity. So you just want to go around and then do that. And then once you're within your design, it doesn't really matter which way you go. Just make sure that you keep it really tight. Now, I'm using what are called beading pins because um, they have a kind of a bigger head than some do, but if that doesn't seem big enough to you and you'd like a better grip, you can get pins like this. Uh, these are actually called petite pearlized pins. They're a little shorter, but they have a more substantial head and actually the pearl would look really pretty, but it's up to you. All that you need to make sure that you do is stay within your design and keep it pretty tight, okay? And remember, there's nothing you can't undo. If you mess up, just start over. So now you want to start wrapping and you just want to go from one end to the other. One thing that I'd like to say about this is that it really helps with fine motor skills because you really have to be pretty delicate with this so that you don't uh, have the string pop back at you and sometimes it's still going to anyway. And it also forces you to stay within that pattern. So see like right here, I don't want to go across that, right? That's why we did that border so that I know not to. Um, and then so you just keep wrapping and move this around as you need to to kind of help you manipulate it and just keep on going. And like here, I don't want to cross here, right? Because then I'm going to go over that border. So then I know that I need to go somewhere over here. And you can go back to pins that you've already visited. It's okay. It's all good. Just keep working in it and kind of let the thread go where it wants to go. I've learned that as well. Don't fight it. It's going to let you know which way it wants to wrap. And that could be because of the angle it's at, all sorts of things, but just keep it wrapping. All right, and now we just need to tie off our string. I've already done it in the yellow, and I bet you can't even see where I did it. Um, and then I've added a second color for the beak, and you basically do the same process. You want to end up close to where you began, where that little tail is, and tie once. And because Miss Brooke is a little paranoid, I tie twice. And then you want to cut as close to that knot as you can. And I might trim that a little bit more, make sure everything looks good. And there you go, there is your string art. We did it! Oh, congratulations, wasn't that fun? Thank you so much for creating with us today and don't forget to share your creations with us on social media. You can tag us on Instagram or respond to the post on Facebook with a photo of your creation. We love to see your masterpieces. Until next time, bye friends.